We're off to London Luton Airport to fly out to one of the world's most beautiful cities, Prague, Czech Republic. We have some time to spare before our flight and my husband has been wanting a noise-canceling headphone, so I got him a pair as an anniversary gift. Our flight was at 6 a.m., so it was still very dark outside. Upon landing at Prague Airport, we bought public transport tickets to head to the city center. Thank you. These tickets offer different time spans. 30 minutes, 90 minutes, 24 hours, or 72 hours and allowed unlimited rides on all public transport. Prague's public transport system is affordable, efficient, and well integrated. We arrived at the city center and had some time left until we can check into our Airbnb, so we went into this spacious, cozy cafe with elegant decor. I got an Americano and my husband got hot chocolate. I was tired from catching an early morning flight so I really needed some coffee. And we used this spare time to get some work done. Then we went to get some traditional Czech cuisine. This cafeteria style restaurant, though a bit crowded, served authentic and delicious dishes. Oh, 13 please. I got goulash with bread dumplings and my husband got Moravian sparrow spinach with stuffed potato dumplings. Some staff were a bit grumpy, but I enjoyed both of the dishes. The spinach savory richness paired well with the potato dumplings. The goulash tender meat and stew warmed us in the cold weather, and the chewy bread dumplings perfectly complemented its flavors. After the satisfying meal, it was time to check into our Airbnb. It was a cozy space with a living room slash kitchen, an extra bed, and a bedroom with a queen-size bed. This place was very spacious and can easily fit three people. Prague seemed to have a ton of Vietnamese restaurants, so we couldn't resist trying one. We went to this place we found on Google Maps with great reviews. The ambience was very warm and welcoming. We started with freshly prepared fried spring rolls. It was crispy and hot, so delicious. And then for our main, we got beef pho and bun cha. Bun cha had a delightful balance of sweet, sour, and savory flavors with generous amount of caramelized pork. <laughs> The pho's rich flavor broth made it one of my favorite Vietnamese restaurants, offering an authentic yet affordable experience. Then we went to a local supermarket to get some drinks and noticed a lot of the markets here offered a large Asian selection. Later, my husband was craving a late night snack, so we went to KFC for takeout. My husband got Singer Burger, wings and fries and they weren't that good. Not very crispy and hot, so I think you'd be better off going to local eateries in Prague. And I ended my day by eating these chocolate bar before heading to bed. Mm. 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 <laughs> the following day, we booked a guided tour to explore the city. The tour enriched our experience, visiting the historic Charles Bridge and the John Lennon Wall, a symbol of Czech youth freedom of speech and non-violent resistance. Beethoven he used to stay in this building here. This used to be a hotel. And he stayed in these three windows, the ones with the cacti in the, in the window. Understanding the city's stories made it feel more personal than simply wandering alone. At the end of the tour, we received tickets for a boat tour. We were kind of hungry at this point, so we decided to save the boat tour tickets for the next day and went to eat. We went to a century-old cafe with Czech cuisine. It had a nostalgic ambience. They had pencil and paper on the table, so my husband and I drew each other while waiting for our food. 
We got beef goulash with Carlsbad dumplings and pork shoulder with mashed potatoes. The tender pork shoulder and creamy mashed potatoes were absolutely amazing. Mm. Mashed potatoes. It's so soft. Wow, I'm all Mmm. It's so soft. Mmm. It's so soft. The bread also soaked up all the stew. It was such a delicious and satisfying meal. Later for dinner, we went to a Thai restaurant. I personally love Thai food. We got chicken pasi yu and Thai basil chicken. While both dishes are good, I prefer the spicy Thai basil chicken as the pasi yu was a bit dry. The restaurant's ambience was very charming and it seemed like a great place to go for some authentic Thai flavors. Mm. We then went to get a second dinner at a high quality butcher shop. We got a cheeseburger to go. They also have some quality meats you can buy to cook at home. The meat's quality was definitely top notch, although the portions were smaller and pricier. They didn't have any french fries, so we had it with some potato chips. Later at night, my husband wanted a third dinner. Indeed, yes, third. So we found a Vietnamese restaurant that's open till 1 a.m. on Google Maps. Opa, is this your third dinner? What do you think about having a third dinner? <laughs> he got a chicken pho. It was a casual, cozy atmosphere with friendly staff. Today, we decided to revisit Cafe Louvre for lunch. The ambience reminiscent of a time machine with red curtains, old paintings, and even pool tables inside grand halls. This time, we ordered braised beef with creamy sauce, cranberries, and bread dumplings, and a chicken breast in creamy pepper sauce and homemade spatula. Both sauces were very creamy, and the chicken breast was perfectly juicy and moist, a delightful dining experience. <laughs> Next, we went on a boat tour with the ticket we got yesterday. It was nice how drinks and snacks were included in the ticket. They offered beer and various hot drinks and I got coffee. For snacks, they offered ice cream and gingerbread so I went with gingerbread. The serene boat ride offered views of the river and Charles Bridge but I thought the audio was a bit boring compared to the live tour we had yesterday. <laughs> After the tour, we briefly explored the Charles Bridge Museum, which was also included in the boat tour tickets. As it was raining, we decided to go to an indoor shopping mall, modern and spacious across four floors. There was also a food court on the top floor. I didn't make any purchases, but it was a nice escape from the rain and cold weather. My husband wanted to check out the Museum of Communism next to the mall, so we headed there. It offered detailed exhibitions, but it was heavy on text, so it might be a bit tiring to read it all depending on your interest level. 
for our final meal in Prague, we went to Café Louvre once more. The waitress recognized us from earlier visits, and we ordered pork shoulder with mashed potatoes and veal steak with truffle sauce and baked potato. The quality of the steak was absolutely amazing. Juicy, tender, and perfectly cooked. And pair perfectly with the creamy truffle sauce. The pork shoulder and mashed potatoes were equally satisfying. Both dishes were so good, we ordered one more dish veal tartare with smoked marrow, truffle mayo, and toasted baguette, which was heavenly balance of textures and flavors. The cafe's history revealed frequent visits by Albert Einstein and other famous people. Today is already our last day in Prague. We checked out of our Airbnb and stopped by a cafe to get some coffee. With the city's charm, history, and delicious food, Prague easily became one of my favorite places. I wish I could stay a bit longer, but it was time to head to the airport to catch our flight. Stay tuned for my next travel vlog to Zagreb, Croatia. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!